Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I have a particularly special car I'd like to show you today. So come on over and take a look at it. If you watch some of our videos, you know that we love finding local cars, we love cars with great history and great stories, and this checks all those boxes. I heard about this car about a year ago from a friend of mine who is an engineer and was working on our building at the time, and he mentioned that he and his brother had an original old dune buggy. So I sort of said, if you ever want to sell it, please stop by and show me the car. So a couple months ago, he shows up with this original Myers Manx dune buggy. So the story on this car is Tom Zug's brother, John, lived in Chicago in 1968, 1969, and that's when he built this buggy. So it was built in Chicago, 1968. He took a 1965 VW Beetle, took the body off, stripped it down, shortened it, bought a Myers Manx kit and created what you see here today. He left Chicago in 69, drove it to Pennsylvania, got to Pennsylvania. At that point in 1975, they had registered the car in Pennsylvania. So it got its lights, uh, it got all the Pennsylvania requirements, it was registered as a constructed vehicle. I'll show you later, it has the Pennsylvania constructed vehicle plate on it and it's been in PA all this time, titled and registered in Pennsylvania. So in about 2000, Tom approached his brother. So the car had been sitting in the family garage from 1975 until 2000. And it was just sort of sitting in the garage, not being used. Luckily, it was stored in a very clean, dry, safe place. In the early 2000s, Tom purchased the car from his brother and decided to get moving and make the car run again. He had a custom 1800cc motor built for the car, which I'll describe when with the rear of the car, and has been driving the car lightly since the early 2000s and made it into as it appears today. So let's start at the front of this car. To begin with, this is a true Myers Manx. This is all the original gel coat. This car has not ever had any paint work. It's never been sprayed. It's never been painted. It's never been in an accident. This is the way the car has always been. The gel coat is beautiful, has a lot of depth to it, a lot of sparkle to it. These are the original Dietz headlights that the Myers Manx kit would have come with. This is a Myers Manx front bumper guard. These are British turn signal lights. These are Pennsylvania required a side marker light. So they had to put these lights on to basically double as a side marker light. That's what they are. It is, of course, a stock Volkswagen suspension, stock Volkswagen in the front. All of this is very not rusted, very clean. When we did this car, this is definitely, we were trying to balance between preparing it for resale, but recognizing its heritage and it's a preservation car. So we did not go crazy cleaning everything off of it because we wanted to show it the way we got it. And this is it coming along the side of the car. When we got the car, it had the original bucket seats with this really cool pressed logo. The seats themselves had some sun wear, so we had a custom upholsterer we work with. He blended the original logo, this is all original, with new seats going down. We also had him replicate the original pattern that the rear seat had, because we had it on the back, and he made new cushions for the back, which are replicating the original build when the car was done. On the dashboard, this is just the way we got the car. Everything is period correct and, and, and original. So the horn, the steering wheel, right out of the Volkswagen, the odometer and speedometer, the knobs are from the 65 donor car. We recently replaced the fuel gauge. That was not working, so that is new. It's a mechanical gauge. I also love, and I think I had one of these as a kid, a, a what I would think is a Schwinn bicycle grip, which was on the parking brake, so we left that alone. That's just so cool. Also, we have on this car, which we'll take extensive photos of this, you can clearly see the original donor car serial number, which we list in the ad. And when you run that number, it comes up as a 1965 Beetle. 
we have the original, which is still correct today, Pennsylvania special number plate with the number. Most importantly for the Myers Manx, this is a numbered Myers Manx. So we have the serial number of the Myers Manx right here, which has always been attached to this body. When we got the car, they had never put a roll bar on it, so we did purchase this from Myers Manx recently. Uh, this is a Myers Manx stainless steel roll bar, which we installed on the car. I just think these cars look beautiful with the roll bars. Coming along to the rear of the car, we also left all these wheels on. These are the wheels the car has had on. We left it alone. We left the tires alone because it's up to the new owner what kind of tires they want to put on this car. Coming to the back, we have the Volkswagen tail lamps, the Hella tail lamps. We have all the Manx badging. This is all original Myers Manx and beautiful condition. Uh, same thing on this side. The motor itself, and please take the time and watch our driving video because it's pretty cool. We really had fun with this car. 1800 cc motor, dual port heads, twin Solex carbs, obviously extractor exhaust. It also has electronic ignition, a oil filter cartridge. Uh, it's a strong running motor. It was balanced and lightened flywheel. Uh, it's very strong. It, it revs like crazy. Uh, and has decent torque, uh, 1800 cc's worth. So over here, we also wanted to show you, we do have the top and side curtains. I think they were never used. I think they were rolled up and in the garage the whole time. The vinyl is actually in very good shape. The clear plastic has yellowed. So while it's usable, what you might end up doing is use these as patterns and have new ones made. We will take a photograph of the car with the top in place, but all of this, of course, comes with the car. We also have, which we'll take pictures of, which of course is very important. Tom did take the time and had the certificate of authenticity done, signed by Bruce and Winnie Myers, number 1303. Very important to prove the car is what it's supposed to be. And then we have the badge that comes with it, which has never been installed on the car. And we'll take better photos of this so you can see it. It's a Myers Manx Registry Authentication, number 1303. So when you think about it, this is a car, the history is crystal clear. One family owned this, two brothers did it. It's been in Pennsylvania its whole life since it was built in Chicago. It's all original, the gel coat, all original. The motor is new. The motor and the whole car was gone over a couple of months ago. It was serviced. The chassis was lubricated. The engine, the carbs were rebuilt. Filters were replaced. Uh, and it got a tuning with spark plugs and wires. So it's a unique opportunity to get such a thoroughly original, true Myers Max. We also deliberately, in our photos, you'll see of the chassis, we didn't paint the bottom or do anything to this car. So if you look closely at the floor pan on this car, that's all original underneath. And there's very light corrosion. You can see where they welded it when they shortened it. But we did it that way because that's the preservation part. We're showing you this is the way this car was done in 1965 um, but with a 65 donor body uh, floor pan. And that's the way it is today. Uh, so please ask us any questions you may have. We have had the car also looked at by Acme Dune Buggy Company, which is very close to us. They do a lot of these. Uh, they were very excited to see such an original one because there aren't many left that are like this. So we hope this generates a lot of enthusiasm. I'm certainly excited about it. Uh, I think these are very cool, iconic cars. So please ask us any questions you may have. We'll be happy to answer them. And this is going to be a really fun car sale to watch. Thanks for taking the time and watching the video.